Hello everyone and welcome back to the Maker's Workbench. I'm Charles and I've been a 3D modeling junkie since I was a teenager and I used to spend hours modeling parts like pipe fittings, enclosures, gears, and even electrical boxes all from scratch. And I won't even get into how long that used to take back in my SketchUp days. These days, I take the smarter route. I just download the parts I need straight from McMaster Cars catalog into Fusion 360 and today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that so you can save time, skip the grunt work, and speed up your next design. Inserting McMaster Cars components into Fusion 360 is actually really easy. Just head up to the Insert drop-down and choose Insert McMaster Car Component. That'll pop up a little McMaster browser window inside Fusion. It's kind of small by default, so I usually expand it to make it larger. This makes things way easier to browse. From there, you've got full access to McMaster's full catalog right inside Fusion. It's important to note that not everything in the catalog has a 3D model available, but a lot of hardware parts like bolt, fittings, flanges, electrical parts, and many more do. You just have to look around and see if the part you need has a model. So let's go ahead and look for a pipe flange to insert into our Fusion project. I'll open up the pipe fittings section and look for flanges. And as you can see, it's got the full range of fittings, just like you'd find on the McMaster site. Let's scroll down to the low pressure stainless steel threaded pipe flange and look for one that fits a one inch OD pipe. This one looks good and it's similar to the one I used in my previous video. Card here if you have not seen it yet. I'm going to click on the components part number. Now open the little drop down where you can pick your CAD format. Scroll down a bit and you'll see options for 3D models and 2D drawings. We're going with the 3D step file. Click download and Fusion will automatically drop it right into your current design at the origin point. If you saw my last video, you know I used this planar face to create a custom gasket for a flange like this. If you haven't seen that video, check it out after this one. I've got it linked in the description and at the end screen. All right, so now that we've got the part in Fusion, there's a bunch of things we can do. Thanks again, I'll see you next time, and remember, hack the world and make awesome.